Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Shura Council approves amendments of some provisions of the law organizing pharmacology profession and health institutions and law of combating drugs. Obstacles and challenges facing union work top the meeting of His Excellency the Minister of Manpower with heads and responsibility of labor unions. The Ministry of Sports Affairs honours the winners of Youth Club's Initiative Prize. And a special economic zone at Dukum launches a new resort to enhance its touristic utilities. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabus has sent a cable of greetings to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein of Jordan on his birthday. His Majesty the Sultan received a cable of thanks from His Excellency Al Baji Qaid Sibsi of Tunisia in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his election as President of the Republic. And His Majesty has received a cable of thanks from His Majesty King Philip of Belgium in reply to His Majesty the Sultan's cable of condolences on the death of Queen Fabiola. The Shura Council, in its 10th session that uh, convened today, approved amendments of some provisions of the law organizing the practice of pharmacology profession and health institutions. They came to better organize works of pharmacology and to prohibit monopoly of distributing medicines to some institutions, excluding the others. The session discussed a report by Health and Environment uh, Committee regarding these changes. A new article was added to the law related to the importance of selling or dispensing medicines from stores to all licensed pharmacies without monopolizing any kind to specific pharmacies. The stores and factories of medicine are not allowed to practice any activity that may lead to monopoly of medicines or medical requirements. The Council also approved some amendments to the law of combating drugs. Developments uh, in the labor market of the private sector and following up the workers' situation at private sector establishments topped discussions at the annual meeting of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser al-Bakri, Minister of Manpower, with heads and representatives of labor unions of the Sultan's Workers' General Federation. This meeting enables dialogue between the ministry and the people concerned in order to reach a joint vision meant to develop the relationship among all parties and upgrade the performance in the private sector. Most important topics discussed were the work law and social protection law, as well as obstacles and challenges facing them. The meeting also aims to acquaint them with latest findings in the work process in this field, as well as the aspirations and matters related to arranging the work law and its regulations to sustain continuity of work in the private sector and attract national manpower. Still to come in our news bulletin, Al Fahal Rock is an eye catching site in the area of Min Al Fahal in Muscat.
Welcome back to the news. Ways of bilateral cooperation in the field of police and security were at the focus of meeting of His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsen Ashariqi, Inspector General of Police and Customs, with Her Excellency Arlene Foster, Minister of Projects, Trade and Investments in the Government of Northern Ireland. They also had cordial talks and discussed matters of joint concern to both countries. Fifteen distinctive youth initiatives out of 79 had won youth clubs initiative prizes, which aimed to enhance non-profit projects that contributed in serving the society. The event was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Legal Affairs. These initiatives were practically applied by male and female youths in various wilayas of the Sultanate and gained admiration of the society and beneficiaries. It targeted various sectors such as children, students, women and the elderly. The initiator is a program by the Ministry of Sports Affairs uh, to instill voluntary work with members of the society and to make it a habit. The winners were honored by the chief guest in encouragement to exert more efforts. In the Wilayat of Sur, a ceremony was held to honor the winning Wilayas of Sultan Qaboos Cup in the 27th context of Municipalities and Water Resources Month, which came under the theme Continuous Efforts and Sustainable Development. The ceremony was held at Sports uh, Complex in the Wilaya. Fourteen Wilayas were honored. Five of them won His Majesty the Sultan's Cup. Five achieved the Cup of the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources. And four Wilayas attained the Trophy of the Ministry. The Wilayat of Sur won the first place, while the Wilayat of Manah came second. The third place was achieved by the Wilayat of Soham, followed by the Wilayat of Madha and Ibra in the fourth and fifth places, respectively. The winning uh, Wilayas exerted great efforts in 2014, enhancing partnership among all segments of the society as to develop the municipal work in the Wilayat. During the ceremony, an operata was performed that included traditional arts in the Sultanate, especially those of the Wilayat of Sur. The Royal Navy of Oman celebrated conclusion of cultural activities of the year 2014 in Sultan Qaboos Naval Academy at Said bin Sultan Naval Base. Activities covered numerous lectures and poetic evenings in the form of uh, competitions in various fields, which also included Holy Quran memorization and recitation, short stories, scientific research, poems, drawings, calligraphy, stage play writing, and photography. At the end of the event, the chief guest, Red Mural, Abdullah bin Hamis al Raisi, commander of the Royal Navy of Oman, presented appreciation prizes to the top winners, in addition to members of activities com committee, participating establishments, and companies. A ceremony was held today in the Wilayat of Dukum in the Governorate of Al Wusta to launch the Park Inn Resort, considered as a new addition to the touristic sector in the Special Economic Zone at Dukum. The resort will be a touristic destination and will contribute in attracting tourists, investors, and businessmen to the Wilayat of Dukum. The opening ceremony was held under the auspices of His Highness Sayyid Taymur bin Asad bin Tariq Al Said. The resort, which is 10 kilometers far from Dukum Port, consists of 73 residential units, 50 chalets, and 8 villas. A training course was conducted for teachers in the Governorate of Al Brahmi, aiming to upgrade the efficiency of teaching at schools of the Governorate. The course uh, touches upon many topics regarding education in order to keep pace with the current situation of the educational process in the Sultanate. The impact of crushes on wildlife and ways to protect it were the main topics of a discussion session organized in the Governorate of Bufar. This came at the conclusion of an awareness program organized by the Directorate General of Environment and Climate Affairs in the Governorate on the occasion of Omani Environment Day. The event dealt with ways to protect the biodiversity and wildlife in the Sultanate 
and spread awareness in the community to cooperate in protecting all elements of the environment. A big rock located off the sea of the capital remains part of the landscape of the area with the changing topography around it as part of the urban leap being witnessed by Muscat. This ridge is locally known as Al Fahal Rock. The edge of this calcareous rock, uh, dated to an age of more than 40 million years, its unique location made Al Fahal Rock the gate of Min Al Fahal, where oil tankers usually wall around it. Also, 4% of sooty falcons nest in this rock. And now for the general weather forecast. Clear skies will prevail over the southern with chances of low clouds and fog in the governorate of South Sharqiyya, Wusta, Wafar and coastal areas overlooking Sea of Oman. Winds will be north to northeasterly light to moderate and seas will be slight to moderate along the coast of the governorates of Wusta and Wafar with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters and will be slight along the rest of the coast with a maximum wave height of 1 meter. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we went to nice bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Shura Council approves amendments of some provisions of the law organizing pharmacology profession and health institutions and law of combating drugs. Obstacles and challenges facing union work top the meeting of His Excellency the Minister of Manpower with heads and representatives of labor unions. The Minister of Sports Affairs honours the winners of Youth Club's Initiative Prize. And Special Economic Zone at Duchamp launches a new resort to enhance its touristic utilities. And with that we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and the studios. Have a good weekend. Good night.